Ah, it's a pleasure. Nice to meet pleasure you for the nice first time as well. Nice to meet you. Um, so we have your Fonica International Mediums in the studio yeah. right now being yeah. tested and reviewed. But um, for everyone else out there, because it's the first time for me as well, okay. give us a little background about the company yeah. and then we can talk about these crazy amazing speakers behind yeah. us as well in a yeah. second as well. And heavy speaker. Yeah. <laughs> it's very, very heavy. <laughs> very, very heavy. <laughs> we uh, are there with our flagship uh, speakers and uh, we are demonstrating them and we are very happy to uh, that you are testing our uh, flag M uh, is the um, one of the most important speakers in our range because it's not so big, it's not so expensive, but give you the performance of uh, flag uh, speakers, plant yeah. speakers. Uh, we have a patent, we use a double diaphragm, one in the front, one in the back, and a neodymium magnet in the middle, so we have a push-pull system okay. that can give you a lot of dynamic and bass uh, uh, respect the the dimension. Yeah, you know, it's not so. Uh, it's not a, a large speaker. It's not uh, like like La Grande. Mm -hmm. I mean, and is also easy to drive. You don't need so much power. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, these speakers uh, have uh, enough dynamic. Uh, uh, I think. But you have listened, so you can talk about this. Yes, that it's for me. It's the transparency and resolution. Mm. Like, mm. It, as I was telling you before, like uh, before the camera started rolling, that mm. it feels as though like that the wall disappears, you know. Yeah. And then, mm. especially when you get into films and yeah. TV, not mm. just music. Mm. Um, I'm. I always. I've always loved electrostatic speakers and plain ass, but uh, panels basically. Yeah. That yeah. they're my kind of like favorites subjectively. Mm -hmm. Um, there's just something very unique about the way they holographically do imaging. So it's yeah. like a it's like a holographic table. Yeah. Um, that's always been a fascinating aspect of that for me. And how did you manage to achieve like the low end for these sorts of panels? Because tra traditionally, like when using electrostatics, you do yeah. need a big pair of subs to go with it as yeah. a rule. That's true. That's true. Um, uh, we um, we have this bus because we use a lot of neodymium magnet that mm -hmm. have a lot of power. So okay. with a lot of power, a uh, lot of flux, magnet flux, uh, you can uh, uh, have a lot of force to move the diaphragm. And uh, the other secret is to use our pattern with a double diaphragm. Mm -hmm. Why? Because traditional pronounced speaker use one diaphragm and in the back the magnet. So yes. when the diaphragm go uh, far from the magnet, lose the flux. When go uh, close to the magnet, uh, uh, the, f the flux increase. Mm -hmm. So the shape of the wave is not symmetrical. Yeah. Okay. When you use a, a, a double diaphragm, you have two error but at the opposite. So it's like a balance of the system. And, uh, like a seesaw it, system, basically, yes, just balancing yes, each other yes, out. Yes, okay. yes. And so you have the correct shape of the wave, mm -hmm. and you have a lot of uh, power to move the diaphragm. Gotcha. In fact, our diaphragm don't move one millimeter like uh, an electrostatic speaker, but mm -hmm. move six millimeters. So oh, move a lot of air. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And that allow to the speaker to have a, a great bus, a mm -hmm. great bus. That's the only reason. It's a physical problem. You have to move a. Yeah. <laughs> you cannot do reproduce Simple bus. physics, right? Yes, 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 yes. yes. There, there is not a other solution. Yeah. yeah. One thing I was actually interested in was like the tuning you guys have gone for. Um, mm. What. what what kind of made you go, okay, I want my speakers to actually sort of have this tonality? Because it's quite unique, the uh, way it's tonal balance, you know? It's, oh, it sounds very yeah, 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 yeah. Um, it's a good question, <laughs> <laughs> because uh, I start uh, repairing planner speakers, because I love planner speakers, yeah. but every planner speaker has problems. <laughs> we can lose two days and I can tell you all the story about all the planner speakers. Yeah. Every planner speaker has a lot of problems. Uh, 
And one of the problems of plano speaker is the uh, tonal balance. Why? Because, uh, for example, when you use a ribbon tweeter, it's fantastic, but have a, a, a very uh, epic uh, resonance. So uh, you listen a lot of detail, but it is not natural. Yeah. The same in the bus, because if you don't use uh, my way, okay, mm -hmm. you can use the natural resonance of the panel at the low frequency, mm -hmm. but it's not a linear reproduction of bus frequencies, it's a resonance. So uh, I do everything I can to make a perfect linear speaker. Gotcha. Uh, and it's very difficult, believe me, it's very difficult. So I know my speaker has not uh, uh, a sound that uh, impress you uh, immediately, but it's very natural and you can uh, appreciate this uh, uh, when you listen for a long time, I think. For me, it, was, for me it sounded natural. Like the mid range, because yeah. I, I focus I mean. so much on the mid range myself. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's so important to me. Yeah. If there's anything That's wrong true. with the mid range, my head just goes into analytical mode. I'm yeah. not listening to the. I'm sort of like analyzing the song. I'm not kind mm. of in the song, if that makes sense, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, that was one aspect that really did st stand out to me. I'm very happy for this because uh, there is a lot of job on the back of the speakers. For example, to m making the crossover, you can change everything. Uh, um, changing some, the point of the crossover, yeah. uh, yes. So it's uh, very important for me the feedback of the expert like you that listen. Thank you. Yeah. One question, so the, um, for example, if we're setting up the speakers like this, yeah, yeah the reflections off the back of the panels yeah. against the background, yeah. what, what do, what's your guys' philosophy about using the wall or acoustic treatment or, um, like traditional speakers, we always say pull it out into the room as much yeah. as you physically can mm. because... Mm. Um, yeah, okay. Um, also in this uh, case, we have uh, uh, some difference between uh, our panel and other planner speakers. And I explain the reason. We haven't uh, a, a large panel and that's mm -hmm. very important. And we have a panel with a lot of energy. Mm -hmm. With these two aspects, you can place the speaker not so far from the back of the wall, for example. Mm -hmm. So it's not difficult, so difficult to place the speakers. Mm. On respect other planner speakers, of course, you use the back uh, wall, but you don't need two meters from the back gotcha. wall. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. you can, uh, you can. And um, if you use the active version, you can make all the setup you want about the frequency response in the room and you can yeah. adjust everything. But also in the passive speakers, everybody say it's not so difficult to place because sometimes it's very difficult to place, for example, electrostatic speakers because are very big, very large and have, uh, and have no energy. So you have the back wave that go against to the speakers. Oh, exactly. Yes. yes. In this case, uh, doesn't matter. Okay. <laughs> the speaker don't care about yeah. this. <laughs> that's yeah. quite. That's really important for panels yes, because most absolutely. of the time you have to sort of dig them out halfway through the room, and they just yes, sort of like. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I, I. I mean, uh, everybody start with audiophile approach. Okay. Mm. But on my opinion, you cannot uh, place the speakers in the middle of the room. Mm. You have to live in the room. <laughs> I <laughs> yes. think so. Yes. Yeah. So it kind of helps. We, we, we try to make also. Uh, uh, user-friendly speakers. <laughs> yes, yeah. that goes with the actual standard living room rather than a yeah. two-channel room. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. yes. That's the natural uh, situation. Yeah, and uh, before I leave you, just a couple of questions on this uh, three-way panel that you yeah. can move. Yeah. What was the philosophy behind this and what do you think it achieves? Because I've not had a listen to it myself yet, so I no, can't... Uh, yeah. Okay, uh, the Lagrande is no compromise uh, uh, isodynamic speaker. So we have a, a large woofer that yeah. allows you to have a, a frequency response until 20 Hz. Okay. Absolutely flat. I okay. mean, not minus 3 dB, flat until okay. 20 Hz and have a lot of dynamic with an SPL like live music. That okay. was the, what I want to, yes. to, to reach. To actually basically bring yes, it to life, yes, yeah? Yes, yes. At, at this point, we have a, a large woofer 
Okay, mm -hmm. so you cannot place the mediums and the Twitter on the same uh, line. Yeah. You have, you need to adjust them. Mm -hmm. Also because the speakers is uh, very big, so you need a big room. And when yeah. you need a big room, maybe the, 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 the you, you need to tilt the, 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 the speaker, so it's better to adjust the position of the midrange and the Twitter. Gotcha. So you can uh, find the perfect solution on respect of your um, point where you are listening. Okay. It's basically you're not towing the speakers, you're actually just moving the panels. That's yes, it. It's, you're yes, not lugging yes, the entire yes. It's speakers too around. heavy to move the speakers. <laughs> <laughs> no, I yeah. mean, uh, you can move the speakers, but it's not the right solution. You mm. can do something because, for example, you, you need uh, some pos a, a, a particular position for the tweeter and another position for the midrange. Yes. So that's the reason you have to move uh, each speaker uh, along. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Fantastic. Yes. Well, thank you so much for your time. Thank you I'm so looking much. forward to hearing thank these you. speakers. Thank you. And uh, we'll speak again soon. Thanks Fantastic. a lot. Cheers. See you. Thank you.